everyone, it's me, Krista. Welcome back to my channel. If you've been here before, if not, welcome for the very first time to my little art corner here on YouTube. Today we're going to be playing around with all the fun pastel stuff that came in the Sketchbox Premium Box for August. For today's project, I am using the UART Sanded Pastel Paper, which is 4 by 9 and I am going to be drawing a flower, specifically a tulip. I got my initial sketch in with the white pastel pencil and I am going in with the Rembrandt Soft Pastels in Red Earth and I'm using those to start blocking in some colors and some lines. As I said in the previous video, I have used these Rembrandt Soft Pastels a couple times before. I've gotten them in other boxes and a couple of different color sets. I like how well coordinated they are together and they work pretty darn well. At this point, I start pulling in the schminky soft pastels, a little bit of the blue to add a slight highlight in some of the deeper areas of the flower, and I pull in the yellow near the lightest points. The blue and the yellow pastels are incredibly pigmented, and it does not take a lot of it to get the color going. I do occasionally pull in the soft tools oval and flat knife set when I feel like I need to blend it out a little bit. I tend to use my fingers when I use chalk pastels, but I explicitly wanted to make sure that I used these tools that came in this month's box. I pull in the Bronzeal pastel pencil for the darkest parts of the petals and I will be using it later to create a bunch of lines. After getting the base layers for most of my petals down, I start working on the stem of the flower. I thought I would be able to use the darker browns that we got in the Rembrandt Soft Pastel set and pull in the blue and yellow from Schmicky and create a green color that didn't work out quite as well as I had planned. I did want it to end up being much darker than I would have been able to get with the two Schmicky Soft Pastels. I still end up using the yellow and the blue in that area, but I decide to keep darkening it up using the deeper browns and the black pencil. Initially, I was going to leave the background the color of the paper, but that decision just changed because I noticed as I tried to erase it using a kneaded eraser that it wasn't fully pulling up the pastels that got on there. The sanded paper is really nice because it holds on to every little bit of pastel that touches it. The problem with that is that I can't fully pull it up using either a kneaded eraser, I also tried a Tombow mono eraser, and a Faber-Castell one that's shaped like a pencil. Since the original plan failed, I decided to use the blue pastel for the background. After getting a few layers of that blue down, I end up using some workable fixative to set the layers I already have. If you use workable fixative, make sure you are using it in a very well ventilated area and you might want to wear a mask if you have any breathing issues. After the fixative is dry, I continue to layer even more on top of that. And with these layers, I am changing the shapes around slightly, and I am also ensuring that I add more lines and details as I go, and I blend them as necessary. With the Broinzel Pastel Pencil in black, my pencil sharpener wasn't sharpening it up as well as I wanted to. It kept breaking, so I do end up using a box cutter and shaving off little bits of the wood so I expose the lead. With a lot of pastel pencils and charcoal pencils, this is usually the better way to go about it. Overall, I had a lot of fun with this month's box. I always enjoy using chalk pastels. They are messy, but that's part of what I like about it. As usual, I enjoyed using the Rembrandt Soft Pastels. I also really liked the Schminky Soft Pastels because of how pigmented they are. The two pastel pencils we got in this month's box are also nice. The sanded pastel paper was definitely a new experience. I enjoyed how well the pastel gripped and hung on to it. For this project, I did not get a chance to use the Han Mule Velour sample set or any of that paper, but I will probably be doing that sometime in the near future. And with that, this project, and therefore this video, is pretty much done. If you liked it, please hit that like button. If you have any comments, questions, feelings, concerns, or you've used any of the items in this month's box, let me know all about it in that comment section down below. If you want to see more videos like this, please feel free to subscribe. I do sketchbox unboxings and projects once a month. 
As always, thank you so much for taking the time out of your busy day or night to watch this video and listen to me ramble. I greatly appreciate it. I look forward to hearing from you guys soon, and you'll definitely be hearing from me soon. Bye, everybody!